Good evening guys, it's uh, a Sunday evening, was it, Sunday the 17th of April, and it's um, about 8.35, uh, I've got home from Mum's, didn't do a video yesterday because I uh, just felt like taking a break, but uh, I didn't get anything down the recycle centre, there was an adult's ladies bike there, but it was just too shit. I don't really want to buy shit too much. But, um, I did buy a couple of laptops from Biggles. I've got this one, which is a Fujitsu... Ah, I'll try again. A, Vu, uh, a Fujitsu Siemens. There was a green light on on the front there. Hello. Okay, and I've got an advent underneath. Uh, I can't remember the model number of this one off the top of my head. But I'm going to turn it on. Because I'm going to show you how not to pick a password. Um, yeah. Biggles will be uh, getting more of these for me as well. Right, so this is running Windows Vista, and this is what it's made for, Windows Vista, so... But this has got two forms of Ubuntu on it as well. I'll just let it boot into uh, Windows Vista. I've got to have a USB keyboard connected, because uh, the keyboard on this one... Um, some buttons work, some don't. And this keyboard isn't... Ah, oh, there we go, it is working. See? Right? Now, obviously this was password protected. And password unknown, because it came from the recycle centre. <laughs> um, but uh, I did manage to crack the password on this. Um, I've just got to type any crap in like that. Hit enter. Enter doesn't work, so that does that. Password hint, Karate Frank. Karate Frank, password hint, Karate Frank. So me being me, when I was pissing around with this at Mum's, I did this. You ready? Karate <laughs> Frank. Right, are you ready? <laughs> Worst password setup ever. You don't use your username as your password because that's one of the most obvious things a hacker will go for. They will go through everything that's memorable like that and easy. But, uh, yes, so uh, when you're choosing a password, don't make it the same as your username, and don't give your hint as the same thing. <laughs> How could you forget that anyway, when it's the same as your username? But, yeah, uh, some of the buttons do not work on this keyboard. Some do, some don't, which indicates either a faulty connection or a faulty keyboard but I can get a new keyboard for this for uh, eight pounds so eventually I'll get a new one for this but this is now my one and only Windows Vista machine <laughs> I don't actually possess any other Windows Vista machines that is my one and only I did use this at mum's for a little bit I can't turn on the Wi-Fi um, because I need to use the keyboard. <laughs> you know, there's the button, and uh, you sort of got to hit the function key and that. You know, the function key and that, but the buttons don't work, so. And obviously, this sort of keyboard doesn't have a function key, so I can't do it. <laughs> now, I could try Control and F1 and see if that does it, but. No, nope, there's no Wi-Fi light. I don't know. 
Alt and F1, will that work? No. F1? No. <laughs> Shift and F1? No. No, I've got to replace the keyboard to uh, get the Wi-Fi to work. Apart from that, it's, uh, you know, most pad works fine, the most buttons work fine, it works fine. Apart from uh, the keyboard. So we'll go ahead and shut this one down. But like I said, Biggles is uh, going to get me more of these laptops when they come in and he's able to get them. Of course. I think I paid 15 quid for the pair of these. and This one's a relatively easy repair. Yeah, it's a Fujitsu Siemens. I will uh, just get the model number for you so you know it's a Fujitsu Siemens Whoa. it's an Esprimo mobile V5535 I can't remember what the process from what not is on it but I suppose it's possible to upgrade it to Windows 7 if I really wanted to now here's this one it's an advent um, which I refurbished an Advent 7302 um, lid catch is broken there's no spring it does work like I said I've refurbished it with Windows 7 I think it is meant to be a yeah it's meant to be a Vista model the biggest problem with this is it works absolutely fine apart from the fact it's got a big overheating issue um, I'll turn it on, actually today I turned it on, left it on mum's sofa, went into the kitchen for 10 minutes, came back and the underside of this was piping hot, everything was lagging and then eventually it just shut itself off, it seems to shut itself off automatically when it gets too hot. So this has got an overheat issue on it somewhere, um, it could be that the cooling fan isn't running properly. It could be that the thermal paste on the processor has gone dry and crusty, thus not transferring the heat between the processor and the heat sink efficiently enough. That would cause it. So uh, either way, I'm going to have to open this all up because there's no panel to open up on here. I've got to open the whole thing up and uh, investigate. But uh, I will check the fan and I will check the heat sink thermal paste. Anyway. I've got a few more things I want to show you, but I just want to get settled in because I've only just got in through the door and I was just sort of excited. I want to show you my new toys. I've got a Windows Vista laptop. I've never really used it. I never really wanted to upgrade to Windows Vista when it first came out. And uh, back then I was hearing a lot of negative feedback from people who was using it. So that sort of put me off. But having used that one, it doesn't seem too bad. I just need a keyboard. <coughs> Anyway, um, I'll be back in a little bit. This is <laughs> one of the annoying things about working with laptops. You have to uh, disassemble the whole thing just to service them. Uh, some laptops will um, have a, a cover on this side access the processor and whatnot but this particular model doesn't which has meant in order to check the condition of the thermal paste on the processor which is the other side of this bit here and fan I've got to take it apart <laughs> so that is what I've done um, I wasn't actually going to tonight but I thought yeah why not um, I've also looked on eBay for a keyboard for the other one, £7.50 is what it's going to cost me, so I'm going to get one. I've already ripped the um, keyboard out of the other laptop. I'm just in the process. There's the keyboard from the other laptop. And there is some um, gunk spilt on here, if you look. So I'm guessing something got spilt on the lap keyboard at some point in its poor little life, and that's probably what's um, fried the keyboard. So I'm just going to stick you on there for a moment. 
while I try to get the motherboard out of this, I think I've got to undo these um, screws here for the VGA. I haven't got a small enough socket at hand, I don't think, otherwise I'd have used one of them. But I think it's these that's holding the VGA socket in place, preventing me from uh, taking the motherboard out. Mind you, the um, top plastic and the screen is all in... Well, I could separate it if I wanted to, but it's all as one unit at the moment, so it's just a case of uh, putting the motherboard back in here when I'm done, putting the um, screen and top cover on and connect up the necessary cables, and then just basically systematically um, reassemble it. It's not as much work as you think, really. There's a lot of screws on some laptops. There's a hell of a lot on this one. Then you've got hidden screws. And if you've never taken a laptop apart, you might uh, get in a muddle with them. Because uh, they don't just put the screws in the bottom plate. They hide them under the keyboard as well. So uh, these really are... Some of them are really um, screwed together pretty damn well. This one seems to be a bit more uh, fiddly to get out here for some reason. So yeah, at the moment I've got uh, laptop screws here, there and every friggin' where. But I've actually got them in piles. So I know what screws come from where. Come on. There we go. Now, in theory I should be able... Yep. To release the motherboard. I've got a cable connected. Somewhere, what is it? It's this one. Hang on. Just like a PC, all the cables, while well, everything is sort of plug and play, you just plug them into the motherboard. Right. This is the Advent 7302, by the way. Okay, so what I need to do, or what I'm going to do, is uh, some fluff blocking that heat sink vent. So I need to get my trusty little screwdriver and I'm going to remove the heat sink and probably the fan. I know the fan's working because I did go like that at Mum's and I could feel the air being blown out. So I know the fan works. For some reason it's still overheating. Well, at least I know it's got ATI graphics on it gig and a half of RAM, the other one has got a gigabyte of RAM on it, which I can upgrade. I'm guessing I could upgrade that to two. I will look up the specs and check that. Because uh, I do actually plan to fix the keyboard on that one and uh, use it. I'm not doing these wrong. I should have gone corner to corner, but never mind. Oh no, that's doing them up, isn't it? No, that's... Okay, so all those screws are the same size, so I'll put all those into one pile. That wouldn't hurt redoing the um, heatsink thermal paste anyway. Because it's an old machine, but... Right. Oh yeah, ooh. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Oh, yeah. There is some, but yeah, it has gone a bit, um, crusty. <laughs> In fact, most of it seems to have, um, burnt off. Oh. And clumps of fluff like this coming out of it isn't good. Uh. Just making sure that vent is all, uh, clear of dust and crap. Because obviously fluff like that is going to um, restrict airflow, and you don't really want that. But I've got a funny feeling, once I've done this and put it all back together, it probably won't work. <laughs> but 
but <laughs> um, I forgot to bring my thermal paste through. It's actually nice that this is all in one unit. A lot of the times the fan is um, a separate unit, but in this case, oh, it can be removed. There's a couple of little screws here, but um, you can remove it all as one unit and service it. Right. Putting a lot of the cables back on is going to be the fun part. Just go and get the thermal paste. You can get this stuff cheap on um, eBay. Actually, got two syringes. I think that came as a like a two syringe set. The rack. Uh, mm. Um. Ah. do is put a little blob. I only want a little blob for this I should think. Just kind of spread around, make sure it's even. And, uh, might as well redo it on this chip as well when I'm at it. That's Dry. That's what happens with thermal paste over time. It'll um, dry. And then it won't um, transfer the heat between the chip and the heat sink as well. And that causes it to overheat. So I can now just basically drop this back into place, put all the screws back in, and reassemble it. And that is pretty much... Yeah, I took it apart just to do that quick five minute job. It's taken me longer to take it apart um, than to actually do the fix. Now, when you do heat sinks, you go corner to corner so you get it just like you would on a car wheel. So you get it nice um, evenly pinned down to the processor chip. And yes, my screwdriver is magnetic, and you really do need a magnetic screwdriver for this job. I would not recommend trying anything like this without it. I've got some screws over there, what are they for? Oh yeah, I remember what they're for. It's alright. I'm having a dirt moment. Oops, come back. Yeah, I do want to um, try to put both of these at the service. I might keep one over at Mum's, so I've got one over there to use, and they've got a spare one if they need it. Um, yeah, right, that's that job done. I can put it back in the base now. <laughs> uh, it's got to go. I've got a cable there. Can I? that way up. It's got to go. I'll try and do it blind just by feeling where the socket is. I think I've got it. There we go. Got it. That drops straight in like that. That's actually gone straight in. That's good. All right. Oh, there's a screw. I'll put that back in. Now, I've got to remember where these screws came out of. There's um, one there. There's three of them I've got to remember. One came out there, I think, yeah, one, I 
Damn it. I completely forgot. <laughs> um, sugar. What I need to do is put the top section on top, I think, and uh, try and remember where my stays for the VGA or the standoffs, I should say. Not stays. Oh, I think I cross threaded that one. Bloody fiddly. You do need a lot of patience for this as well, wouldn't you? If you're an impatient person, I wouldn't recommend doing things like this. Nor did that bounce to. Thought that had taken a bit of an end, but it hasn't. Come on. Oh, for pity's sake. I want to get this put back together and uh, I'll return later. Here we are, it's all assembled, it's working and uh, I've got some screws left over. It's not too hot at the moment, it may not fix the problem what I've done but there's only heat at the edge here this time so it may have actually fixed it. Um, I did run a, the repair program because it didn't shut down properly at Mum's, but everything does seem to be working. I know I plugged all the cables in at least, so I'm not too fussed about a few screws missing, so long as that... What the hell? I didn't click on anything. But uh, yeah, I do believe I sh may have fixed a problem. I'm just going to um, not that way. Stand it up on end this way because that isn't too bad at all. Because before this whole area where all the um, processor and heatsink is got piping hot. Actually, so hot I'm surprised it didn't melt the plastic. To be honest, but, uh, that should have. Fix the issue of the batteries and that could look saying it's not charged, but the light there is saying it is charged, so yeah, it's working. I'm not actually sure why I've got five screws left over because I've got two down now. I've obviously uh, missed some somewhere along the line, but uh, like I said, it's holding together fine anyway. That's all I need it to do. I'm not fussed about those, but I'm actually going to leave it like that. Because even idling like this, it was getting extremely hot and shutting down on its own. And I know a lot of uh, laptops and things and computers will do that if there is a problem with the cooling system. But I know the fan's working because I did hear it um, fire up when I first turned the laptop on, so that's good. It's not a fan problem. It probably was just because the... Well, to be honest, there wasn't really any thermal paste left on the heatsink or the dye of the um, processor. I think it sort of like heated up and disappeared. It's, you'd be surprised at the amount of difference that little um, blob of thermal paste will make. But, uh, feeling a little warm up there, but what well, laptop doesn't? Uh, should we see if I can get it to connect? My internet got full signal. BT Hub 5. Oh, it's actually connected. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I bought it home and put Windows 7 and whatnot on it. I was right, so yeah, it would have that still on there, wouldn't it? Let's open up the browser then and get it to do something. Just got a default background picture scrolling through on this. It's the default theme. 
Um, I can't do anything with the Fujitsu till I get that keyboard, and I'll probably do that. Actually, I'm not sure if I'll do that when I get paid, or if I'll get something else when I get paid. One or the other. Um, I know I still need that bloody... Why is this taking so long to open Firefox? Oh, that's why. I want to meet him. Because I suddenly uh, closed down, it wants me to... Uh... Mum's buying herself a new one during the week. Yeah, it seems to be working all right. It's keyboard all... The keyboard ain't gonna work, is it? Yep, there we go. Just make sure that all the... I've got the connectors all together correctly. Although when it booted up, I didn't hear any noise. That could be because I've actually forgotten to connect a um, speaker cable. Whoops. Anyway. It's a bit of a short video today. Uh, it wasn't anything down the dump, like I said, apart from a couple of bits of shit that I weren't interested in. Um, well, actually, just give me a few minutes and I'll be back. Oh, I've got a bit of an icky tummy tonight. Right. I'm just restarting the laptop because um, AVG wants to restart, so... Um, I can fix the speakers easy, but um, it does require taking it all apart again, but I'm not doing that tonight. Uh, although I don't have to take the motherboard out to do that, I can just take this um, top cover off again, but it means I've got to take the keyboard off, disconnect the mouse pad, take that, well, take the cover off, take the keyboard off, because this bezel here has got to come off to get the keyboard off. You've got to be careful. You don't want to yank too hard on the um, keyboard cable because you can actually break the uh, connector on the motherboard and you don't want to do that. And just flip it upside down, undo all the screws, undo the screws that are holding it down on the top here and then just basically pop the top off, pop the speaker cable back in and hey presto, Bob's your uncle. Working audio again. That's the only one I forgot. Uh, I could do it tonight, but I've already done it twice because I forgot to uh, connect the fan back up. And I thought I can't really uh, turn it on without the fan connected, so I had to take it all apart. I didn't quite finish reassembling it. Um, yeah, I didn't quite finish reassembling it. Um, oh! And Biggles also gave me these. USB 3 ports on a tray so it will slot into a uh, um, floppy disk drive bay or what's the other one um, a card reader bay you know it'll just slot straight into that and you get the pack of screws to fix it as well I've got three of those. I don't think I've got any use for them, actually. I might keep hold of one. But I think the others may end up on eBay, or all three may end up on eBay. I don't know yet, because like I said, I haven't got that much of a use for them. For the for simple fact, I don't have a connector on my motherboard for them. I don't think that one has. I think it's too old. It does seem to take a little bit to boot, but... Well, it's definitely not getting as hot as it was. There is heat being blown out of the vent, but it's not getting as hot as it was. So, uh... I think I'm happy with that. I think it's, uh... A bit happier than it was, at least. <laughs> I wasn't a happy puppy before. Um, and there was um, a screen driver problem with this as well because Mum couldn't play one of her bingo games on it. It kept um, crashing out and the driver kept crashing and uh, audio was muted.
the audio service is not running. I wonder if that's because that cable isn't connected and it's recognised that and said it's not working. <laughs> I could do it tonight, you know, it only take me five minutes to do it, but there's just so many friggin' screws. This is one of the few laptops I've come across where there is so many poxy frick frick too many screws. It doesn't need that many to hold the damn thing together. Uh. Yeah, so no luck at the dump. I've got one racing bike that I'm going to start on tomorrow. I keep thinking it's a lot of work, but it isn't really. All I've got to do is clean it up, put two inner tubes in. Because both, neither of the wheels have got inner tubes in, so I need to fit two inner tubes. Um, replace gear cables, which I could do easy peasy with the stock I've got. Clean it up, change the handlebar, clean the handlebar stem down as much as I can. Find something to tape the handlebars with. I usually use PVC tape because it's cheap. Um, I'll be ready to throw up on the gum truck. I could probably fix it all tomorrow. It needs a good clean. But uh, people like those bikes, even the old ones, so that's why I uh, rescued that one. But yeah, Biggles did say he'll um, pick up uh, some more laptops, as and when he can, obviously. Because uh, being a recycle centre, you know, it, it just depends what comes in and when. But uh, yeah, I'll take broken ones as well. If it's got a battery missing or a cracked screen, it doesn't matter, because uh, I'll just have the parts out of it. Or fix it by putting another screen in it, you know. Hard drive light still flashing. Right, I'm going to shut this down. So I don't need it running now. I'm actually pretty wide awake, so I could do that audio connector now. <laughs> and I may find out where those five screws go. <laughs> Uh, it's always the case, you'll take something apart, put it back together again, and you think, and you'll always have some screws left over. Right, shut it down. I'm going to let that cool down, actually. So it might be a little bit warm. Come on, shut off. Uh, well, I suppose if I do it now, then it's done and dusted out of the way, because the problem is the connector is in this area somewhere on the motherboard, and... Uh, to get to it, I've got to take it apart. Yeah, I've got power adapters with both of these. I'm not too fussed if he doesn't get the power adapter with him. It doesn't matter. I've got plenty here of various types. I've got my hand on it. That is a lot more comfortable, actually. That is what I would expect from some light use. It's still getting a Still getting a wee bit too hot for my liking, but it's a lot better. I think it'll be a, a lot more usable. So I don't know. It's 11.35 almost, so I don't know if I'll uh, take this apart one last time. Actually, there's a couple of screw holes here. I've missed screw. Ah, there's two there where my finger and thumb is. One there, one there. But that still leaves me with three. <laughs> but in total, to get this case apart on this side alone, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He has about seventeen screws I've got to take out on this side alone. I think there's five the other side as well, underneath the keyboard. 
I may not actually have to disconnect anything other than I'll disconnect the mouse pad actually just in case oh I didn't lock the battery back in properly numb nuts but uh, to take a laptop apart you just anything that comes off like this take it off so that I take the hard drive off I take the covers off and I take the DVD drive off just so that out of the way I could upgrade the memory in this I think got a gig and a half in it or a main nick memory out of it I don't know could do with a little electric screwdriver I think just for jobs like this because it's uh, quite tedious with one of these right anyway just the covers off so that's your Wi-Fi card does your Wi-Fi internet and your memory I've got a gig and a half of DDR2 on this I'm pretty certain I can upgrade it to two gigabytes but I think a gig and a half is all I had at the time it runs. I prefer two gigabytes in there. But uh, if Mr. Biggles is going to get me more laptops, no doubt I'll have more memory come in. So if I really want to get this one working, I can. Any hoozle. I'm going to disappear because I want to get this video up. Uh, I do have other upcoming projects um, still sort of planning it I've got a um, I do believe I've mentioned it before but quite a while back now I've got a uh, bike for a friend of mine that I've got to convert into a trike an adult trike um, I've already got the um, bars I want to use as an axle Hopefully, if they fit the wheels. I'm fucked if they don't fit the wheels. Um, but if they don't, then we'll just have to get a smaller size, that's all. Um, but that is a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, we'll find out. They are actually still over at my mum's. I keep forgetting to bring the fucking things back. Oh. Excuse my French there. I've done so well. I'm going to go and let one slip. Or did I let a few F words slip earlier? I can't remember. I've got to help a kitty on the table. And you go knocking my screws everywhere. Otherwise we could say you've got screw loose. Ha <laughs> ha! Bad part I know. How can something so small take up so much friggin' room on the bed? You should, you should see him on the bed. He sleeps at the bottom of the bed, and my feet, actually, you very often have less than a foot of space. <laughs> Way less, probably about not even half a foot of space at the bottom of the bed to put my own two feet, because... Uh, Sir, there likes to take up the bottom of the bed. Though he's pretty good. If I just give him a little nudge with my feet, he does um, shift over. So, or if I get up for a pee, he'll come and follow me for some reason. Probably hoping that I'll give him some food. Anyway. I'm going to go now. So, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, I will be building that trike. I've just got to finish sort of planning it and getting f trying to find some more materials that I need. Which is uh, proving harder than I thought. But, uh, yeah. So it's alright having the bit for an axle and the wheels, but it's no good unless you've got something to put the wheels on. <laughs>
So, yeah, need some other angle iron or something for the um, framework. But I've got a rough idea how I could do it. And hopefully, if my idea works, it would just be a frame that you can bolt straight in at the back of your bike and just hook your chain around it. Well, you may have to use a chain splitting tool, but you know what I mean. Just bolt it in, fit your chain on, and away you go. Perhaps fit the gear cable on if you've got gears. I could do single speed, so I haven't got to worry about gears. So, uh, I know Cat's Custom Trikes will be watching this, so if you want me to, I could make it a single speed. Or perhaps just have the gears at the front. It would be easier, but I can do geared if you want. It's up to you. <laughs> um. But obviously, if you only have single gear, that's a lot less gears to go wrong. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about the bloody drain you going out or a gear cable stretching and need replacing. That's the one advantage of single speeds. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be working on that racing bike. So I may tr um, charge this camera up and... Uh, <coughs> oh. And uh, set this up on something. I still haven't made the tripod yet, but... I'm sure I can turn a bin or something upside down to sit the camera on. Dangle it from a piece of string, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.